Hi guys, so in today's video I'm going to be going over EKGs and the different sinus rhythms. So to start off, it's important to know that sinus means that for every one P wave, there is one QRS segment. So there's basically four different sinus rhythms. There's your normal sinus rhythm, there's sinus tachycardia, sinus bradycardia, and then your sinus arrhythmia. And I'm going to be going over the differences between those four in just a moment. So before we begin, it's important to know that when you're measuring how fast a rate of a heart rhythm is going, that typically it's measured on a six second strip. And there's two ways that you can measure how fast this rhythm is going. The first way is just by counting the number of R's there are, or the QRS segments, and then multiplying that by 10, because it's a six second strip times 10 it gives you 60 seconds. And so if you have six QRSs, then this rhythm is going to be 60 beats per minute. The other way to measure this is by having um, calipers, but we're not going to get that in depth with this, so just know that that's another way that you can measure how quick a rhythm is going. So the first rhythm is a sinus rhythm, and this is going to be 60 to 100 beats per minute, and it's going to have an evenly spaced R to R interval. It's going to be a normal distance between the R to R. Every single time it should be the same. Also remember that for every one P wave, you will have a QRS in this rhythm. The next rhythm is sinus tachycardia, and in this rhythm, you will have about 100 to 150-ish beats per minute, so it is faster than sinus rhythm. Your R to R's will still be even and normal, and you will still have one P wave for every QRS. The next rhythm is sinus bradycardia, and this is just a slower rhythm. It'll be less than 60 beats per minute with a normal R to R, and again, one P wave for every QRS. The next one is a sinus arrhythmia, and this doesn't have any set beats per minute, but the difference is that your R to R's are going to be off. They're not going to all be even. So you'll still have one P wave for every QRS, but your R to R's are going to be abnormal. And when you measure out your R to R's, they will be off by two or more boxes. Those little tiny boxes, if you watch the EKG basic rhythm video, then you'll know what I'm talking about. But your R to R intervals are going to be abnormal. They're going to be different and not even every single time. And people that have sinus arrhythmias, it typically follows their respiratory rate. So when they breathe in, their pulse increases, and when they breathe out, it will decrease. So just as a little reminder from the basics EKG video, your PR interval should be 0.12 to 0.20 seconds, your QRS should be less than 0.10, and your R2Rs should be even and not off by more than two boxes or else it'll be a sinus arrhythmia. This is very important for determining whether you have a sinus rhythm. You want to make sure that your PR interval is normal and your QRS is normal, and you want to measure out those R to R's. And just to recap all on one page, a sinus rhythm is between 60 and 100 beats per minute. It has a normal R to R, and every P wave there is a QRS. Sinus tachycardia is 100 to 150-ish beats per minute. Sinus bradycardia is less than 60 beats per minute. And your sinus arrhythmia, it can have any really varying beats per minute, except your, the difference here is that your R to R's are abnormal and uneven but you will still have one P wave for every QRS in a sinus arrhythmia. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you check out my other EKG videos.